Дуру, дуру, салам. Как вы поживаете меня очень хорошо? Ну хорошо, это тренировка. Let's do some kazoosh. Okay, guys. Why haven't I made videos? It's easy. I've been training. So, in honor of the uh, Dagestanskis, here you go. Dagestan Sambo team. I'm not on the Dagestan Sambo team. This is just a show of respect. So, first way I like to, to do kazoosh training is really pump up the uh, laterals here. Got to be able to push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And then I like to act like I got an opponent here and just come back up. Again, these are only throwing a, a garuma type of kazoosh and then you know kind of give yourself a little bit of a arm drag and then back up to the laterals and then move in with your hands and if you can master this one boy you can master all the kazoosh You want to, thing is, is this progressive overload. You want to get in a lot of reps, a lot of days. So I advocate doing a little bit every day or do it every day for a week or do this because there's training, you know, three days in a row, take two days off, three days in a row. Take two days off. Well, this will help with hand fighting and it'll also keep your back strong and your shoulders strong. It'll help with Ipon Oseoi or Drop Seoi or Backdoor Seoi, whatever you typically like to land. And then I like, I call this, it's just a little kettlebell, I call this uh, throw in my purse. These exercises are good at. Again, giving you that little bit extra for throwing. And it also helps with the kazoosh. Which you really need to master. If you're doing any kind of sambo, any kind of jujitsu anything like that now it's on to the uchikomi wall and how i like to do it now my uchikomi i really like to <laughs> i should have thought of this video beforehand but I just started training and I was like people need to see this okay so you want to do some pulls and then up I like to just kind of move in with my footwork out and then out and then Kind of use one as my osayo. And 
And then again, up, really giving that chest a chance, a chance. Delt in there. And then I like to wow, kind of do the this is like for your Osoi or not Osoi, Ogosh. You know, but really get that pull. Take a look at it. Always work on footwork. You hear my feet sliding, don't you? And then back to the These are some of my favorite ways to master Kazush. And then of course, back to the, back to the, uh, you're really just trying to use this motion, right? You want your pinky up. And I always just use the three judo fingers, but, Unless you're training on one specific thing, if you're training one specific thing, then you do 13 to 21, maybe 27 reps light. But if you want to get a little bit more resistance, do three to five reps and then just keep switching it up. Progressive overload, you need your whole, you need your whole body. So judo, is at its high levels based on the side attack and for me i like to swing step into stuff which you have to be really good at judo to swing step because judo is always with the wider base you know but i got taught swing step when i was little and now i like swing step but a lot of sambo guys love kind of some some swing step and some stuff. And if you notice, I know you can't see my feet work, but my footwork, but I'm swing stepping. So now change the uh, change the angle of Uchikama. And we will work a different thing. So now change the angle and go to high. And we will just work a little bit different. The feet work. Change the lead foot. And then back to the weights. You want to keep want to keep your uh, reps low, movement high, and 